Good evening! Welcome sa ating Praise and Prayer. At kung may pinagpapasalamat ko tonight, just comment it down below para makita ng mga kaibigan natin at ma-encourage din sila. Samahan nyo kami na manalangin at magpuri sa Diyos.
Samahan niyo po akong manalangin. Panginoon, give supernatural protection to our frontliners especially in the medical fields. Pawiin niyo po ang pagod nila. Bigyan niyo po sila ng kapayapaan and mental security. May all the frontliners find security in you, Jesus, our Savior alone. Amen. Magandang gabi sa ating lahat. Welcome sa ating praise and prayer. Ang tanong ko ngayon, kumusta ka na? Kumusta ang health mo? Are you still fit? During this pandemic, madami sa atin ang naging unhealthy physically. Kasi, ano eh, na babad tayo sa bahay. So personal experience ko, nung, during quarantine, ang madalas ginagawa, kain, tulog, nood, kain, tulog. So, Plus, yung mga kinakain na mga unhealthy food. So, nadagdagan yung timbang. And then, yung katawan, uh, naging unhealthy din. And sa iba naman, naging unhealthy sa mind and emotion. Dahil sa mga worries sa buhay at mga puro negative na naririnig sa social media. So, ngayon, ang topic natin is about five healthy habits in life. Sabi sa 3 John 1-2, Dear friend, I hope all is well with you and that you are healthy in body as you are strong in spirit. Dito naman sa Proverbs 3:7 to 8, don't depend on your own wisdom. Respect the Lord and refuse to do wrong, then your body will be healthy and your bones will be strong. Number one tip sa atin, healthy people eat healthy food. So ano nga ba yung mga healthy para sa atin? Isa sa mga healthy para sa atin uh, bilang anak ng Diyos ay ang Word of God. So, ibabad natin ang sarili natin sa Word of God. So, kung tayo kumakain ng three times a day sa isang araw, ganun din dapat pagdating sa spiritual food natin. So, kumain tayo regularly ng Word of God. And then, ito, filter the things that you allow to come in to your mind and heart. So, responsibility din natin na yung mga napapakinggan natin, yung mga naririnig natin, i-filter natin. Huwag basta-basta papasukin. Kapag sinabi sa'yo na wala kang kwenta, hindi ikaw yun. I-filter mo yung mga sinasabi ng tao sa'yo. Kung alam mong pangit, huwag mo papasukin sa sarili mo. Huwag mo papasukin sa utak mo. And then, be, be healthy also para sa iba. No. So, shut up your mouth when you don't have something good to tell about. So, kung puro reklamo yung lalabas sa bibig mo, wag mo na lang, wag mo na lang banggitin. Kung puro negative yung lalab- kung alam mong puro negative yung lalabas sa bibig mo, wag mo na lang sabihin. So, maging maging healthy person ka din para sa ibang tao. Sa sabi sa Daniel 1:15, at the end of te- of the 10 days, Daniel and his three friends looked healthier and better nourished than the young men who had been eating the food assigned by the king. So, ganun yun eh. Kapag, kapag merong inassign ang king sa'yo na dapat mong kainin, yun ang dapat mong kainin. For example, sa atin, ang assigned food para sa atin ay word of God. Pero ang kinakain natin, 
yung mga complaints, kinakain mo, yung mga, yung mga naririnig mo sa social media, yung mga naririnig na negative sa TV, sa news. So, anong mangyayari sa'yo? Yung utak mo mapupuno ng mapupuno ng mapupuno ng negative thoughts. So, hindi yun healthy. So, ang healthy para sa atin, ang assigned ng Lord para sa atin, isang word of God. And then, sabi dito, 1 Corinthians, Corinthians 6.13 You know the old saying, First you eat to live, and then you live to eat. Well, it may be true that the body is only a temporal thing, but that's not excuse for stuffing your body with food or indulging it with sex. Since the, masters, the, since the master honors you with the body, honor him with your body. So, honoring your body is one way one of the ways to maintain your health. So, bawat isa sa atin, i-honor natin yung katawan natin. So, wag tayo basta-basta uh, basta-basta matem sa mga sa mga offer sa atin ni Satan. So, stand stand firm, stand your ground. And then number two, uh, healthy tips. Healthy people think about healthy thoughts. Sabi dito, Luke 11:34 Your eye is the lamp of your body. When your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But when it is bad, your body is full of darkness. So, lahat ng mga nakikita natin. So, kapag alam mong pangit yung makikita mo o kaya tinitignan mo, meron yung sinasabi, bounce your eye. So, kung nakikita mo dun sa, ka- sa kanan ay pangit, mag-turn around ka na. So, tingin ka sa, tingin ka ng ibang bagay, tingin ka sa ibang bagay na kung saan makakakita ka ng maganda. So, unhealthy focus. Kapag meron tayong unhealthy focus, ang result niyan is magkakaroon tayo ng bad life. Pero, syempre, pag meron tayong healthy focus, ang result niyan is good life. Sabi dito, Proverbs 4.20 to 22, My child, pay attention. So, pay attention to what I say, sabi ni Lord. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart for they bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. So be careful of what you think because your thoughts rule your mind. So ano, uh, yung mga iniisip natin, yung mga pinapapasok natin sa utak natin, maging careful tayo. No? So kapag alam mo na pangit yung mga naririnig mo, pangit yung mga nakikita mo. Kasi ano yan eh, 'di ba? Sabi meron sa Biblia meditating. So once na mine-meditate mo yung magandang bagay, yun yung palagi mong naiisip. Pero once na yung pangit naman yung mga yung mga naiisip mo at yun kasi yun eh, kung ano yung iniisip mo, yun yun palaging umiikot at umiikot sa utak mo. So ang papasukin natin yung mga magagandang bagay. And then, be careful, be aware. Let's be aware sa mga pinapapasok sa, natin sa utak natin. And number three, healthy people manage their energy. So, maging wise tayo sa ating energy. Things needed in managing your energy, kailangan natin ng rest and exercise. Di ba? Sa, sa physical, kailangan natin ng rest and exercise. Eh. Ganun din sa ano? Ganun din sa spiritual life. Psalms 127.2 It is useless for you to work hard from early morning until late at night and then anxiously working for food to eat for God gives rest to His loved ones. So, hindi, actually, hindi na natin kailangang magpakahirap pa na magtrabaho kasi ang dami-dami yung prepare ni Lord para sa atin. Sabi dito, 1 Timothy 4, to 8 Do not waste time arguing over godless idea and old wives tales. Instead, train yourself to be godly. Physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better. So, kailangan nating i-train yung sarili natin. So, ano ba yung mga trainings na na pwede nating maranasan? Madami. Yung isa, uh, pag ikaw ay regular regular member sa church, ang pwede mong gawin, uh, pwedeng training para sa iyo is yung ano, pakikinig ng Word of God. 
And then, pakikinig mo kay Lord. And then, continue na matuto ng matuto. Ha? Kasi habang, habang nagbabasa ka ng Bible, nagbabasa ka ng word niya, mas natututo ka at natututo. And then, yung mga naririnig mo, i-apply mo. And that will be your uh, one of your trainings, yung application also. And then, number four, healthy people and least supportive friends. So, pag sinabing enlist, ito yung ano, joining the army. So, di ba kapag sinabing army, anong meron sa army? Ako, personally, kapag uh, nasa na, napapalibo, ako, for example, ako, uh, kasama ako sa army, mas confident ako na makipaglaban. Mas confident ako na makipagbarilan kasi alam ko na hindi ako mag-isa. Ayun. So, meron tayong extra advantage kapag meron tayong kasama kesa yung kesa yung makikipagbarilan ka na na mag-isa mo sampu sila versus sa uh, dalawa ka o kaya tatlo kayo or mas madami pa mas may advantage kayo mas may chance na babuhay ka at matalo mo yung kaaway Ecclesiastes 4:9 to 10 two people are better than one for they can help each other succeed so magtulungan tayo kailangan mo kailangan mo sa ng kasama. Pagdating sa uh, Christian life, kailangan mo ng kasama. So, at na din, piliin mo yung mga yung mga friends mo, yung piliin mo yung mga people na nakasurround sa So, kung alam mong hindi maganda yung influence ng tao, siguro it's about time na pag-isipan mo kung sino yung mga yung mga taong dapat nasa paligid mo. And then number five, healthy people depend on God. This is the last one. Healthy people depend on God. Luke 17.19 And Jesus said to the man, Stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. So, dito, healthy people depend on God is ano trusting the Lord. Huwag natin ilagay yung tiwala natin sa mga maling bagay o kaya maling tao. Don't put your trust on earthly things because darating ang araw, one day, they will disappoint you. Darating yung araw na yun, madidisappoint ka sa tao, madidisappoint ka sa mga bagay-bagay. Pero pagdating kay Lord, never kang madidisappoint. Kasi yung promise niya, kinikip niya palagi yan. And yung promise niya, one day, it will come. And then, uh, magkaroon tayo ng greater motivation. And magkakaroon, tayo ng, magkakaroon tayo ng greater motiva- motivation uh, and then rest and then power kapag tayo mismo nagdepend, nagdepende kay God. And then depending on God, trusting in God is ano, our own decision. So ngayong gabi na to, kailangan mong mag-decide. Mag-decide ka na na piliin yung mga tao sa paligid mo kung sino yung makakatulong sa'yo. Mag-decide ka na i-filter yung mga bagay-bagay na pinapap- pinapapasok mo sa utak mo, sa puso mo. And then, mag-decide ka na mag-trust kay Lord. And then, i-manage mo ng mabuti yung oras mo, yung energy mo. Instead of wasting your time sa Facebook, wasting your time kakapanood ng news, paulit-ulit lang yung mayan. Yung mga news, yung mga okay lang manood. Pero mas maganda, magbasa ka na lang ng Word of God. So, managing your energy is also yung ano, pagbabasa ng Word of God. And then, ngayong gabi na to, I challenge everyone na kung ano man yung mga napakinggan natin, i-apply natin sa buhay natin. And let's try also na, na maging healthy. Maging ano natin, uh, goal natin ngayon, maging healthy tayo during this pandemic. And then para para pagkatapos nito pwede nating i-share yung healthy you. I-share mo sa ibang tao yung healthy you kasi ang pinaka the best na gift mo sa ibang tao ay ikaw bilang healthy. So let's pray. Lord, salamat sa word mo tonight. Help us to be more healthy in all areas of life. Remind us sa tuwing nadadapa kami. Hold us, O Lord. Give us motivation to stay fit and rest in your presence. Amen. 
Sabay-sabay po nating ipanalangin ang mga kapwa nating Pilipino nagpositibo sa COVID-19 sa mga PUI at PUMs. Panginoon, naway masumpungan nila ang pag-asa sa inyo. Give them faith to overcome depression and anxiety. Tanggalin nyo din po ang discrimination sa mga taong positive sa COVID at pati na rin sa mga kanilang area na na-lockdown. Palakasin nyo po ang kanilang nanghihinang kaisipan. Bigyan nyo po sila ng pag-asa at lakas ng loob na, magba- na magbalik sa inyo. At ma-realize ng bawat isa na ang pinakaimportanteng bagay sa mundo ay ang magkaroon ng malalim na relasyon sa inyo. Amen. Pwede po kayong sumang-ayon sa pamamagitan ng pagsagot ng Amen, Tama o Yes Lord sa mga prayers na aking babanggitin. Let us pray for our church family. Now in the midst of national health crisis, panatilihin mong malakas ang aming pananampalataya sa inyo Panginoon. Sa aming mga kasama na napapalayo o lumalayo at ina-isolate ang sarili, Bigyan niyo po sila ng kaliwanagan. Remind us, Lord, that we are a champion, not a loser. Keep our mind focused sa mga bagay na pinapagawa mo sa amin. Let the truth about Jesus' love, the hope He brings and the light He shines, the healing He gives and the solution He offers be read in our Facebook posts, and be heard in our conversation. Let all the believers of Jesus unite in prayer. Let all of us be a living encouragement in our homes.
that grave, come out of that grave when we sing captives. Let go of those chains, let go of those chains when we praise dead man. Come out of that grave, come out of that grave when we sing captives. Let go of those chains, let go of those chains when Dawn is trembling, you holy light And every eye will see Jesus our God Great and mighty to be praised So let hope rise And dawn is trembling, you hope
Let us pray for the people all throughout the world. Lord, change our mindset that instead of relying so much on the government, let us depend on you. For you alone, our God, can solve our present problem. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Ikaw ang aming source of hope, ang aming provider at protection. There is no sickness that you cannot heal. Turn our fears and worries into faith that may overcome COVID-19 as we trust in your promises. That by your stripes and wounds you had on the cross, we are healed. Let all the citizens be very cooperative with instructions and orders of the government to prevent COVID-19 from spreading. Let us all be productive in our time. Let us help and contribute to solve our present problem in the best way we can. Develop in us a sense of unity and nationalism. We are all in this battle. Unite us in prayer to defeat the works of the devil. Deliver us from this sickness as we put our trust in you. Amen. This is not a time to be critics and go against the government. Our enemy is not the government but COVID-19. Let us unite to pray for our government. Give them much patience and high level of tolerance from their critics, complaints, and negative feedbacks. Rather, they may not take it personally, but use it for the improvement of their services. Develop empathy in them that in their response to the complaints of the citizens, Christ-likeness and maturity will manifest instead of stress and aggression. Thank you for we still have a government who does give their service beyond expectations. Remove all selfish ambition, spirit of corruption, laziness, and biasness. Let them work with all their mind, heart, and strength. Give them wisdom and strength to accomplish all goals. Let the help coming from the national go not in their pockets but to the public, especially the people who really need it. Jesus, empower them and let your light shine in them that in their works people will see you on the move. Amen. Today, we all have the opportunity to celebrate and declare our victory because God is so faithful to us and He is at work and not yet done in us. God of the promise, God of the future, you see beginning and end. God of the rescue, God of the breakthrough, how great is your faithfulness. You're not done yet. Why is ever seen, no ears ever heard? No one could ever comprehend Your word will be enough Your promise we will trust song in my soul God in the working God I'm believing you'll be impossible Right now, 
God, let your glory come down. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. You're up to something right now. You're doing a new thing right now. God, let your glory come down. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. You're moving the mountains right now. You're breaking chains right now. for joining us tonight sa ating praise and prayer. Just a few announcements. Every Sunday is our Sunday cell celebration at 8.30 a.m. Just go to Facebook and search SFCC Champions. Don't forget to connect to your cell group this week dahil sa cell group, we do champion life together. Ang prayers mo ay mahalaga kay God at mahalaga rin sa amin. So if you have any prayer requests, just go to SFCC Champions and type prayer. Samahan nyo ka ulit kami next week sa ating present payer. Thank you and God bless. Let your glory come down Don't hold